before we do sight reading, let's do a sight reading game. Can you pick any note on your violin and play busy, busy, stop, stop on it? Excellent. Let's practice some stepping up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step down. Step down. Yes. Step down. Oh, and there we are. We're back where we started. Well done. Now, do you remember how to do a skip? Yeah. So if you start on open A, that means if you skip out number one, you land on number two. What happens if you skip up again? And skip up again? Oh my goodness, and skip up again? And skip down? Skip down? Skip down? Yes, birdie, skip down one more time. Wow, very good. Now, what happens to skips if we're starting on a one? Three. Yeah, exactly right. Skip up. Yeah. Awesome. So I think a really nice game for you two to play when you're at home together is that you could make some lucky dip cards, mm -hmm. just a whole bunch that say either step up or step down or same or skip up or skip down or jump up or jump down. What's jump? Anything bigger than a skip. Do you want to try some? Yeah. Jump up again. Yeah. Now do a really big jump down. Great. Can you do an even bigger jump down? Yes. You could even jump all the way down to G. Go on. Yeah. So your jumps. Your jumps are anything bigger than a skip. That means sometimes a jump is really big and sometimes a jump is just one step bigger than a skip. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then what you can do is just birdie. You can basically play this game that we've just done where you just pick any note on your violin and mummy picks out a card and you, you, and you do what the card tells you to do. And sometimes it won't work because if you're on like E3, for example, and you get skip up, then you can't do that. So then you just have to can. chuck it away and do a different one. You can. Well, you can, but only if you shift. <laughs> and we haven't done shifting yet. So we're going to find a page that has got some skips and jumps in it. Okay, so what we're going to do, Birdie, is I'm going to show you what those steps, skips and jumps look like on the music. Okay, so here we have, that's open A. A bit closer. And then can you see, that's, is it a space note or a line note? Oh, that's a space note. Well done. And what about the next one? That's also a space note. Excellent. So that would be a skip up, wouldn't it? Because you've missed out the line note in between. Yeah, cool. And then can you describe for me what happens next? Yes. Is it a step or a skip? Skip. Wait, step. Step, well done. And is it going up or down? Down. Brilliant. And what about this one? They're, so the skips are always on the same kind of note. Line, line or space, space. So what do you think is happening here? Skip. Yeah, skip up. Fantastic. Is 
Is it next door or has it got a note in between that we've missed out? You can ignore this bar line because that's just for something else. It's next door. It's next door, so it's a step or a skip if it's next door? Step. Well done, very good. And what about this one? Skip down. Fantastic. Uh, step up. Nearly. Skip up. Yes. Skip down. Brilliant. Skip up. Excellent, Birdie, you're so brilliant at this. Step down. Great. Uh, step down. Great. Step down. Yes. There's lots to confuse you there. Be careful. Ignore the ignore the bar line and ignore the sharp. Step up. You are a superstar. Same. Well done. Step down. Brilliant. Skip up. Now, careful there. If it were a skip, it would go to this line, wouldn't it? Jump up. Yes! Fabulous. That was really brilliant. Well done.